All right, guys, these are my color choices for the Sea Shades dishcloth. I am going to be using lime green, and then there's a mix of lime green, yellow, and a little bit of a darker teal. And then I'm also going to be using this little mix of lime green, yellow, and white. Okay, so I am going to start off with this mixture and I am going to be using my uh, turtle hook that I've made and it's a five millimeter and you can look through all of my hooks on my Facebook if you add me at Stitch and Stacy's Crochet. If you're interested in any of those um, hooks they are for sale. Also matching stitch markers on my Facebook page. Alrighty, so let's get started with this project. What you need to do is to start off, you need to chain 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Let's re angle my camera a bit here. Okay? So, we're going to work on the wrong side, and don't be scared of that when you see it. All it means is you're going to just turn that starting chain upside down. You're just going to kind of turn it around a little bit. Now, we're going to double crochet in the seventh chain from the hook. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're just going to work on making that netted, netted part that's in the center of this square. So go in the seventh chain from the hook and do a double crochet. All right, so that's going to count as a chain two. I'm I'm sorry, a double crochet and then a chain two and another double crochet. So now you're going to chain two, and you're going to skip two, and then you're going to do another double crochet in that next chain. Very simple. Then you're going to do another chain two, and then another skip two. Then another double crochet. Okay. Then chain two. And then you should have three left, so you want to skip two. And then in that last single crochet will be your last double crochet. All right. So at the end of round one, this is what you should have. So now you're just going to turn your work and chain five. Okay, so now round two, you're going to do the same process. You're going to skip these chains and you're going to go into this double crochet for another double crochet. Okay, and then chain two. All right, double crochet over the top of this next double crochet and chain two. Okay, double crochet over the top of the next double crochet and chain two. Alright, so now where we chained our five, you're going to count back three. So one, two, and three. That's where you're going to put that last double crochet at. Okay, so this is what you'll have at the end of row two. Now rows three and four are exactly the same. So you're just going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? You're going to turn. You're going to do exactly the same thing. Double crochet over the last double crochet from the previous row and chain two. Okay? Double crochet, chain two. Double crochet, chain two, and when you get to that chain five here, you'll count back three stitches one, two, and three, and do that last double crochet there. All right, so that's row three, and one more time. So chain five one, two, three, four. And five, and yes, I had to tie my yarn, so it's got a couple little radar ears here, but I'll fix that later. All right, last row of the netting part, so we're going to double crochet here, chain two, double crochet, chain two, 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 chain two
chain two, double crochet, chain two. Okay, and the last one you're going to count back three, and then you're going to double crochet here. All right, so that is our very first four rows. Not a big deal at all, right? So no need in stressing over that. It's perfectly simple. We made a knitted square. Okay? So now comes your first color change and we'll, we'll go back to work in our first round of the next section of this um, uh, squared dishcloth. So pick out your second color, the one that you want to work with next, and I'll be back for the next row. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just turn my square over. I'm going to finish this off here, and I'm going to join my next color, which I am using my straight up lime green color here. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this off and then I'm going to insert my hook and my new color and I'm going to pull that through that chain 2 space alright and then I'll lock that in and we're now ready to start our second color alright so for this first round they want us to chain 3 so 1 2 and 3 Okay. So that's going to act as the first double crochet. Now you're going to do two more double crochet here. One and two. Okay, so that's going to give you a cluster of actually three double crochet. And chain two, so we're making a basic granny square corner here. Now you're going to put three double crochet in that same corner because all granny squares have to have four corners if it's a square. Okay, so just do three more double crochet. So see, now we have our corner. Now in the same space, uh, actually, that's all together. Okay, so now we're going to chain one. All right, and now you're going to do three double crochet in the next space right here. I'm just going to go directly into here and do three double crochet okay nothing hard there now we're going to chain one and we're going to do that again so go into this next chain two space and do three double crochet okay and chain one now you're at the next corner, so we're going to do our corner same as we did before. So you want to do three double crochet here. So there's two and three. Now to make this turn appropriately, you've got to do a chain two, just like this. And now you're going to do three more double crochet in that same space. So one, two, and three okay and you may have to kind of situate them a little bit they don't always um, go directly in the space where they should so we can do that all right so now what you're going to do is you're going to work a chain one and you're going to work down this side and you're going to do three double crochet in the next chain space which is here so we're going to do three double crochet here in a chain one okay three double crochet in the next space we're just kind of repeating chain one. Now we're in the corner again so we're going to do three double crochet here. Get my yarn unwound. 
there's two, and there's three. Now you're going to do a chain two, which is very important to make your corners turn. So another three double crochet here. Okay, there's two and three. Okay, and now you're going to chain one, and in the next gap, you're going to do three double crochet. There's two and three, and do a chain one. The next gap gets three double crochet as well. Chain one. Okay, we are now at the next corner. So, what do we do here? Is the three double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet. So there's my three, two chains, and three more double crochet in that same corner. Okay, and then we'll do that chain one, and we're on the last stretch here. So let's do three doubles in this next space. Chain one. Okay, and three in this next one. Okay, and now you're going to chain one. And you are going to now join in the top of that chain three, of that beginning chain three. Just like that. Okay. And if you will look now, looks like a little window. And that we will work that in. And so far, that is the first round of the working in rounds row. And I will be back with you with the next round. Okay, we are back. We finished that round and now we needed to separate our yarn and join our third color now, which is what I already did. Just like we did the last round, you separated and joined in the next corner. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do another chain three here. So one, two, and three. So you're now going to do another two double crochet here, just like we did before. So one, and two. So that gives you ultimately those three double crochet again. Do your two chains. So that's going to make, whoops, sorry, trying to get my yarn untangled. That gives you ultimately the corner started here again. So now you're going to put three doubles in that same corner. So one, two, and three. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a chain two and you're going to miss the next three double crochet, which is here, okay? And in the next, um, uh, well, you're going to do one double crochet in the next chain one space. So this is the part that I thought was unique and it really give this pattern attitude. So in this chain one space right here, you're just going to do a double crochet Okay, and you're going to do that process three times. So you're going to do a chain two, skip these next three, and do a double crochet in that chain one space. Chain two, skip those three, and go do a double crochet here. Just like this. Okay, now chain two again, and you're going to miss the next three double crochet which is here and then that puts you to your corner so what do we do here is we're gonna make our corner 
So you're going to do your three double crochet. Chain two. And three more double crochet. Very simple. Nothing technical. Nothing you've not done before. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so then all you're going to do now is you're going to do a chain two and you're going to go into that next chain one space and start those double crochets. Chain two, double crochet in that chain one space, chain two. And you're just going to do that process all the way around. And I'll meet you back up once I've completed it. Okay, I'm all the way around. We are now going to join into that first uh, three chains, pull through and through, and you're now going to finish off here as we've been doing. Pull through and through and finish that off there. We can get all these ends finished up at the end. Now it says at this point you can uh, join, for round three you can join uh, the beginning color back, but I'm actually going to go with my um, B color, which is my lime green. So I want to join that color back. So that's what I'm going to join. So we're going to go into that chain two at the corner and join whichever color you prefer. And we'll do that, um, sorry, we'll do that slip stitch just like this okay now what my computer screen slid on me so now the row three for this is you're going to do a chain three one two three okay now you're going to do the same process so let's do two double crochet here to make our corner Okay, chain two, and like I said, your corners may look a little scrunched, so you do have to scooch those a bit, and then do three more double crochet in the corner. All right, now let's do a chain one. Now we're just going to resort back to doing the same type of row we were doing. You're going to go into this next. Um, chain, let's see, chain space right here into this chain two space. And you're going to do three double crochet. So one, two, and three. Then you're going to chain one. Then you're going to do that in each one of these, which gives you a total of four spaces that you're going to do this in. So each space gets four plus a chain one or I'm sorry each space gets three then a chain one and so there's one two three four and a chain one one two Get my yarn out. Three and a chain one. Now we're at our corner again, so go in that corner for the three doubles. Chain two and three doubles again. And you're just going to repeat that process until we get back to the beginning point okay so go all the way around and I'll meet you back alright guys we are at the end of round three now we are going to join in the third stitch here we're going to finish off as we've done and we are going to pull that through and through now I'm going back to my original first color, which was in the center of the lattice work here. And I'm going into that corner and pull it through and through. 
Now what we're going to do is go to round four. So as we've been doing, what you need to do is do your chain three here. Sorry, I'm out of the picture. <laughs> now you're going to do your two double crochet here in this corner. And you can always scooch your double crochet and make sure that they're not um, making your project look wrong. Because it can. It can make it look real gappy over here. Alright, so let's do our chain two. And then our next three double crochet into that same gap. Okay, and that's going to be our corner. Alright, so now we're going, we're at the point now where we're making our next um, row of double crochet, kind of like spokes there. So what you're going to do is chain two, and we're going to go into each chain one space for a double crochet. And then another chain two. Okay, so you're just skipping all of the double crochet clusters to put in the, the um, single double crochets. And don't get confused when I say that. Um, I just call them, these are just single double crochets because these are clustered double crochets. So you're just doing a double crochet and chain two. But in the meantime, you're skipping the double crochets. Clusters. <laughs> Can be confusing for some of my new crocheters. Then once you get to the corners, we know what to do. We're going to do our three double crochet. And then our chain two. And then our three double crochet to finish off our corners. Okay, and then you want to do that chain two. And then you'll start working your double crochet, chain two again down the side. Okay, and if you find at the end of this project that your um, dishcloth is not quite big enough for you, just go up to a size six hook, um, change your size in your hook, um, because really the cotton doesn't come in. At least not that I've noticed. I can't speak for everyone, but um, the cotton doesn't, I don't think. I haven't found it comes in different sizes, but it's just easier to change your hook size if you want it any bigger. So then you get to your next corner and work your corner. And I'm going to finish this and I'll catch up with you. All right, we are all the way back around. Once again, we're going to slip stitch in the top. We will finish this off and pull through. I will go back to my lime green. And join in the corner. Oops. Okay, now we will do as we were doing before. So now round five, we will do a chain three. Okay, and you will do our la actual last. Um, double crochet cluster row here. So you're going to do two double crochet, chain two, and let's scooch this over a bit, and then three double crochet in the same space. We all know how to do this by now. Whoops, that one didn't turn out correctly. And I think what I'm going to do is send this one in the box that I'm sending to Chris in Iowa. Send him a couple homemade washcloths. Been making him, sending him some stuff that I've been making on video so that he'll have a at home type of feeling in that little bitty apartment that him and Andrew are cooped up in. It just makes him feel better to have some homemade stuff from me. So I think I'll put this in his box. Okay. So now we're going to chain one. 
it in there. So now in this next gap, you're going to do your three double crochet. Okay. Then chain one. Oops, I have butter fingers today. The next gap, you'll do your chain or a double crochet three times in this gap. Chain one, next gap, three double crochet. Nothing any different. Then when you get to your corner, make your corner. Okay? So just continue around. Our um, dishcloth is almost complete. So just continue all the way around with this round. And I will meet you back up. And we will do our round six. And then we will do our round seven, which will be our last round. And then our beautiful little dishcloth will be complete. Then I will meet you back up. All right, we're back. I joined and finished off that last uh, corner there. So now this is going to be the last row for our um, single spoked double crochet. So now what we're going to do is join in this corner once again, and I'm using a different stranded uh, color, the one with the blue in it. And now what you're going to do is do a chain three like we've done, and we're going to make our corner now. So put two double crochet here. Chain two. And scooch that one over a bit. And do three more double crochet. And also, this is a very good project to use up some scrap cotton yarn uh, because of how many times you do change your color. Um, and overall, this um, cloth, dishcloth, is very, it's a very good size as it is. Um, and I really enjoyed this pattern. And just the, the single double crochets in this pattern and this small window of lattice work makes all the difference in the world in, in a uh, granny square pattern. So I do hope you try it. Okay, so we've got the corner here. So now what we're going to do is chain that two, and then you're going to start going in those um, chain one spaces again for a double crochet. And chain two, and then just skip the three doubles. Double crochet, chain two. Okay. And you're just going to work this all the way around. In each chain one space. Then of course when you get to your corners you're still going to maintain your corner by doing your three doubles. Your chain two and your three doubles. Then following that you'll still do that chain two then you'll turn over it, or kind of angle it, makes it easier, and keep going with your double crochet in your chain one spaces. And then you'll chain two and just keep going around. Okay, it's no big deal there. It's a very simple embellishment to this. So just finish that row up and we'll come back and complete the last row, which is row seven. Okay guys, last row. 
we're going to join up here and fasten off. My scissors are dull. Thank goodness I bought me a new pair. Okay. So now I'm going to get rid of all that yarn. And now for the last row, I actually got some blue color. It's like light and dark blue, just kind of like mosaic type. Now what I'm going to do, I'm, I just wanted to kind of twist it up a bit. So now you're going to join into the corner again. All right. So you're just going to join in the corner with a slip stitch. And you're going to do um, a chain one. And you're going to do three single crochet in the corner. One. Two. And three then you're going to do two chains it's the same as we've been doing you're just working in single crochet all around not double so then you're going to do three more single crochet and this is going to be the corner okay and now what you're going to do is you're going to do three single crochet in the next chain two space so and if you can work over any of your strands this is the perfect time to do it okay so um what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, work um, basically right into the chain two space. So you'll go right here. So you're going to be working one, two, three. Okay. One, two, And three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And that's all you're doing. One, two, and three. Okay, you're just putting a border around it, and then when you get to the corner, you're just putting a corner. You're doing three single crochet, chain two, and three single crochet, um, and that's pretty much all that you're doing. And then you're just going to finish off, and you can spread these evenly if you need to to make them um, more spacious for you. Like I said, this is one of those patterns where your stitches don't always end up where they need to be and there are lots of patterns where sometimes this happens and a lot of times it's with a granny square pattern especially in your corners because they get bunched up it has nothing to do with who or how the patterns wrote it's just how the, the stitches play out okay so no need for me to keep doing that all the way around you can finish this up and um, once you do that you just weave in all your ends and that is it for this beautiful beautiful pattern for a dishcloth um, and um, you can also possibly keep making rounds and just keep going up and up and up and up and around 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 and this also could turn into a beautiful afghan um, you know or even a lapkin a baby throw anything like that so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and until next time happy hooking